Once we have the system of equations, um, and I think we called this step five, uh, you just you solve it. Um, and, and we're not going to rehash how to solve a linear system of equations, but you just use one of the methods that we've talked about previously, and you solve it. But you'll typically use a software package like MATLAB or something that has it built in. And MATLAB can, can handle um, these matrices are usually sparse, and so MATLAB should be able to handle, you know, 100,000 nodes just fine. Um, and then as a final step, uh, you're going to do some post-processing on it. In particular, uh, I think one of the most important post-processing steps is visualization. Visualization. Um, because, well, you're just given you're just given the values when we actually solve it we all we get is the values at each point uh, these points here uh, well, we already had the values at these two points so we got these three intermediate points and that's uh, what we did um, the book seems to imply in the discussion and and I want to just correct this is it's an error that this is not true um, that we since we decided on a shape a linear shape function uh, when we were going through our solution method that we have to stick with it uh, and then uh, this becomes the approximation it has to be linear between nodes well that's not true um, it's not true at all we, we did stick with the linear uh, shape functions just for for solving it with a finite element method but as a post-processing step uh, we could fit a cubic spline to this data or whatever else so so we're not stuck with a linear uh, you know like a linear spline or something we're not stuck with that we can use uh, whatever we want to smooth the data afterwards and a lot of times you will you'll you'll smooth uh, you'll smooth the data out for your visualization step because nobody likes uh, a really rough um, a rough approximation when when with really not much extra effort you can get a nice a, a nice smooth solution and, and interpolate between and uh, between values but again that's something that we talked about previously but it is uh, obviously really really important step because uh, this this visualization that's usually how uh, one of the major things that you do to to analyze um, to analyze the, the problem